cultures, sounds, and culture of Japan took center stage at the Museum for Human Rights as the Karakoro Isa Japanese Dance and Drum Group returned to Winnipeg to perform to a sold out crowd. I first met this group uh, back in uh, four, six years ago on Niagara and the Lakes, and they happened to be performing there. I went to their show. I was so impressed, I met the director after and said, you know, would you consider coming to Winnipeg? And so the following year, they came here, and we did the first show at the Winnipeg Art Gallery. And since then, this is our fourth time back, so we're really pleased to have them. They've been to... Um Winnipeg a few times and performed at the museum here the last couple of years. Last year after a performance they approached this museum and knowing that they were coming again for Fulcarama they had a desire to perform a uh, an, another of their uh, repertoire here at the museum and we were eager to invite them. The group is made up of performers of all ages. This year's performance was inspired by the fight against apartheid in South Africa. This visit by Karakoro Isa coincides with the museum's Nelson Mandela exhibit, Struggle for Freedom, which will be completing its run at the end of August. It fits in well with the Mandela exhibit, and uh, at the end they'll be singing in the national anthem uh, of the apartheid, and uh, it's very moving. Our performances help to achieve a uh, peaceful world and our service. It's something that we normally would not see in Canada. I know next year they're going to be performing in uh, Prague, Czechoslovakia, and so I don't think they'll be here, but from what I gathered, they would like to come back the following year. In Winnipeg, Steve Anderson, City News.